Hello, I'm excited to introduce you to a new way of accessing data from SAP without the need for detailed knowledge of coding or a big project budget. If you've come across DVW Analytics before, you'll know that we provide native software within platforms like Alteryx, Nime, and DataIQ to seamlessly connect to pretty much any SAP system. But now with our new Flow Tool platform, we can extend that reach to bring SAP connectivity to Power BI and the other Microsoft Fabric solutions, as well as Tableau, Snowflake, and many others. As its name suggests, the Flow Tool allows users to build data flows connecting to the SAP objects most suitable for their use cases as well as bringing data from non-SAP sources and then use simple drag and drop no code tools to cleanse, join and manipulate data ready to be consumed in almost any platform, including SAP. Let me show you an example of how this works to provide ready-baked SAP data to Snowflake. We're going to start by running a T-code, a transaction code directly into the flow tool so we can benefit from all the business logic configured in SAP. The tool makes it simple to automatically convert complex outputs from SAP and provide clean data sets. And the easy to use no code functionality means that any level of SAP user can connect to the data they need. What's more, filters can be applied dynamically so repetitive tasks can be performed efficiently in a single flow. Another really nice feature is the ability to run your flow at any stage to check the data and quickly resolve any problems. As well as the SAP tools, there are many others which allow you to easily cleanse and manipulate your data. In this case, I'm creating a unique list of business area codes found in the data set. And I'm going to use this as a filter to find the relevant descriptions for each one from the SAP text table. Again, this is easily done. I pass the list to the SAP table tool, choose the table I need, and select the format of the output together with any additional filters that I'd like to apply, like the language field, for instance. This way of nesting calls is super efficient because we're only bringing back the table data that we need from SAP. I can now join these additional texts to enhance the original data from the transaction code. I just use the join tool to effectively do a VLOOKUP to apply the correct description to each of those business area codes. The tools provide lots of additional functionality, as straightforward as renaming columns, to apply more complex rules and calculations. Whilst you don't need to be able to code to use our tools, if you do know a little bit of Python, then you could do some extra scripting, such as doing calculations, and in this case, removing a pesky minus sign, which sits on the right-hand side quite often in SAP. And once the data set is ready, fully pre-baked if you like, you choose the target system, in this case Snowflake, and apply the necessary configurations to send the data to the correct table and field mappings. Once that's all done, we just run the workflow either manually or under a schedule, and the data will be pulled live from SAP and pushed into the appropriate table within Snowflake. And so we have SAP data in Snowflake without having to recreate all the business logic that you've built into your SAP solution in the first place. No reinventing the wheel, no heavy coding, low cost. Hopefully you like what you've seen and you want to see some more. Come to dvwanalytics.com to investigate what we do further or even register for a free trial.